One, an essay about Jackson Pollock, written by Timothy Meller. Read and visualized by Rudy Jones and Maya Wallace. ASMSA Documentary Film Class, January 2008. In the summer and autumn of 1950, Pollock painted several wall-sized paintings. To produce these, Pollock laid large canvases on the floor of his studio and started dribbling, flicking, and throwing paint onto the surface using sticks, brushes, or even his hands. The masterpiece produced by these sessions is one. Painted on November 31st, 1950, it is an oil and enamel on unprimed canvas and is 8 feet 10 inches tall by 17 feet 5 and 5 eighths inches wide. Arguably his most famous piece, one currently resides in the New York Museum for Modern Art. To gain some perspective, one of Pollock's less famous pieces, number 5, recently sold for a rumored $140 million in 2006. Pollock's one is chaotic at best. There are dribbles of paint everywhere, going every direction. Each streak seems random, but at the same time, carefully planned. No pattern is apparent, however, the whole painting seems to be a unified mass. None of the lines look straight. All of them seem to have a distinct curve of the arc of a human arm. When looking at the painting, one gets a very distinct sense of rhythm. It is easy to visualize the rhythmic slash of Pollock's arms as she throws each line onto the canvas. This rhythm contributes to the general feeling of the painting, its unity. Each stroke, while seeming to be random, contributes to the wholeness of the painting. Looking closer, each line seems to be emitting from a central point in the painting, almost like a big bang exploding out at the viewer. Despite the anchors in each of the four corners, Pollock still manages to push the painting out, away from its restrictions. One also has a strange combination of colors. It has a beige background, which is covered in black or white lines, with the black lines being more dominant. This color scheme creates a grim feeling for the painting and makes the feeling of tension more prevalent. What Pollock is trying to get across is the simultaneous feeling of chaos and unity, the tension between freedom and order. According to Eli Siegel, founder of the aesthetic realism philosophy in 1941, all beauty is making one of opposites, and the making of opposites is what we are going after in ourselves. Pollock himself said, when I am painting, I have a general notion as to what I am about. I can control the flow of the paint. There is no accident. Thus, Pollock is trying to convey an idea to the viewer, the balance of chaos and unity in all of us. Pollock is considered a very successful painter, as is his painting, One. In the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, One has an entire wall to itself. Pollock's artistic creation of tension and one is considered a landmark in the history of abstract expressionism.